examples squirrel monkey etc all these are arboreal organisms okay when animals spend most of their time in air they are considered as aerial animals some examples are bats moose birds some insects all these are the examples of aerial organisms so now we'll talk about uh, aquatic plants and animals so first of all we will take aquatic plants okay plants that live in water are called aquatic plants so there are mainly three types of aquatic plants free floating plants rooted with floating leaves rooted aquatic plants with floating leaves and submerged plants so first of all we will take free floating aquatic plants the plants which can be found floating on ponds and lakes are free floating aquatic plants for example pistia water hyacinth and wolfia they protect sm small water animals from hot water okay rooted pistia and water hyacinth and wolfia in italics now you must be thinking that why ma'am has written to or the three this terminology is in italics because they are the scientific names of the plants is that clear to you so these plant per particular organisms are going to have a spongy stems with a large number of air spaces okay that's why they look like this so the plants which can be found floating on ponds and lakes pistia water hyacinth and wolfia you can see here the pictures of these two plants mosquito fern and water hyacinth see the picture how they look these plants have spongy stems okay with large number of air spaces in this which help the plant to float on the surface of water these plants remain in contact with the water and air but are not attached to the soil can you see this in the picture these plants are not attached to the soil they are freely floating in the water and you can see only the leaves or the upper part of the plant here okay this is how the pistia look like now can you see the pictures of some of the lotus plant and there are many other plants like water lily have you ever seen this this kind of flowers and plants see the leaf of the plant it's beautiful isn't it <laughs>